Right, today I'm overhauling um, BWR internal hub. So I thought I will do a video on the importance of grease, waterproofing, as well as why ceramic and why not. Okay, so this is the hub that is assembled, right? Uh, the disassembled, and then this is the brace bearing. I have kind of cleaned the bearings already, so you can see, right, the free hub body is assembled in this way, right. Right, this example in this way. So you can see now I literally no grease. So you can see the right, you can see how the steel bearing uh, without grease, um, how it spins, it spins rather well. Now, of course, with the big wheel, the weight, right, the centripetal force, I know it will spin even more. So even like this one, right, spin quite well using finger right? and that's because there's no grease right so if you really want to put uh, ceramic ball bearing for example you change all the brace bearing right all the brace bearing this one you change all the bearings into ceramic balls and then ceramic ball you rub against the brace over here right and then I say sand and steel which will win right sand will normally win um, so steel versus steel, um, equal force, so no one is overpowering the other one, so it will last a lot longer. Now ceramic uh, can spin so well, it's because right now, right, uh, steel, no grease, and that's why it spins very well, right, as I show so over here. So later on, I'll apply grease and it'll spin, and you'll see the difference. Now ceramic, because it's Ceramic ball doesn't rust, but the brace will rust uh, or you'll crack, right? So, ceramic doesn't need uh, a lot of thick grease because, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't rust. And smooth, yes, of course, if I don't put any grease, it's very smooth as well. Now, also notice how the waterproofing, right? So, look at this part, right? This black color brace, right? There's a, the gap is not tight there's no rubber seal it's just a plastic holding it and then um no uh, holding on the the bearing and then sandwich being sandwiched between the cone and the driver right the driver also has the also has the the you no know, the brace over here all right so basically the bearing sits inside there right as you can see the bearing inside will actually sit on the brace and then this part of the bearing sit on this side of the brace. Okay. So if I assemble them back. Okay. There you go. So there isn't a lot of waterproofing. Right? It's just barely holding. So you want very good grease in, in the bearing. So that first lubrication to waterproofing right you want that to happen now um, that goes to the importance of the dust cover so you can see the dust cover the dust cover actually sits inside right so if i align look at it right it actually sits inside see now the brace bearing is not exposed it's being covered by the dot disc or the dust cover and if you look at vertically the water almost impossible to go in from here the water will drop you know, you just, if you wash by the water will come down here you will come down here and it will kind of hit the driver but not the brace bearing is being covered by the dot disc and then if you look at the other side it's also covered All right it's also covered right but of course if you jack water the water might get in and the might water might get in from here so the concept over here is the same so you have the brace bearing sitting inside and then your lock nut a cone also sits here right and then it turns this way see i hold it can spin if i if i hold very tight 
you know, it can't spin. But if I hold loosely, it will spin a lot better, right? So this is the pressure between the cone here and the bearing is very important, right? You want to set it just nice, no free play yet, you know, can spin freely. Okay, so I'll pause the video here. I'll talk about after I grease. Alright, um, as you can see, I have applied a thick layer of grade 2 grease. Right, and then, you no, know, I will apply some grease over here for the purpose of demonstration and the length. I'll just not apply grease here. Uh, the grease will get into the ball bearing anyway. So I'll just apply. Okay. And then, there's no grease, nothing. I didn't even apply. I will apply grease over here later, right? Or maybe I apply now. Let me just apply now. So there is, there's enough grease for waterproofing. Right, I'll just gently apply. Make sure that the entire brace is covered with nice grease. Alright, and then I will apply. Alright, so grease on both sides. Right, now you can see. Right, it doesn't spin. Right, versus just now, it doesn't spin. Now, is this good or bad? Of course, you know, if you compare to ceramic without grease or very light grease, oh gosh, you're gonna waste a lot of energy by pedaling. But to be frank, you want the waterproofing. You can see some grease already come out from here, right? And all these will prevent water from going in and destroy your heart. So you want this to happen, right? Right? The little restriction will actually helps you protect your bearing and everything else. You're not going to ride if your leg is so much power. Yeah, maybe you use, lose out one watt. But after spinning this for a while, right, everything will be nice, right, and waterproofing. So this is what you want. Okay. Let me take out and see what happened to the grease. Just to show you. Ah, you can see. Right. Okay, hopefully this explains why ceramic, very light grease versus why I want very thick grease over here because I want waterproofing. I don't want my heart to destroy when I wash my bike or I ride in the rain. Alright, hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching.